years of, of network television mm -hmm. from Iron Chef, Top Chef, Junior, Family Food, mm -hmm. Fight, a handful of James Beard nominations, and uh, just a slew of other accolades. So thanks for being Thank here. Thank you, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Always yeah. good to see you, buddy. This isn't what we do, it's who we are. You give your life over to this thing, right? Yeah. And so after work, you you know, a lot of people will go to the bar. We would just go out and talk about food and the next menu and the, like texting all the time. It was yeah. just- Yeah, well, that's every, what saved you. Yeah, and every second was just focusing on that. And you would achieve things, but, but that's when, for me, it became less about just getting ratings and it was competition. It was like gourmets mm. coming out with the 50 best restaurants issue. Okay. And I'm doing everything in the world to be part of that. But I guess you get that out of your 20s. And it's not just in a kitchen. I mean, it could be yeah. TV, architecture, you know, right. painting, writing, whatever. Like that is you making your mark while you can. How do you find your voice with an eponymous restaurant in what was forming into, or was, you can argue, years, but the single most engaging food city in America mm -hmm. at that time. But how do you find your voice? Uh, you know, for me, that's, we always say that's the most important thing, with, you know, music or whatever, finding yeah. your voice. So I love art, and I would take the cooks to the museums and get inspired and say, okay, like, look at Pollock, look at Lichtenstein, and look at Mondrian, and they started out this way and then evolved into this, and so, you know, it's mm. a constant evolution of what we're doing, and yeah. the... The idea has to be based on spontaneity. So, you know, the season changes every day, how we're feeling changes, and what do we want to make right now? So a carrot, right? Say you get this gorgeous carrot, you know, farmer grew it, brings it to the market, you're right. dusting off the dirt, and traditionally it's let's peel it, let's dice it, let's whatever, and to me it's like, wait, nature gave you this beautiful cylindrical long thing, why would you, you know, turn it into yeah, what yeah. a machine would make it? And, you know, so, it can be carrot juice, carrot salad, pickled, roasted, grilled, carrot cake, you know, and no one is better than another. Now step back and turn every ingredient into that and then think of the season and then like do your arrows of this with it. Okay, so celery root bisque, but tomorrow it's, you know, a celery root slaw with this. What, and the way we had the kitchen laid out was like a band where we didn't have like a saucier yeah. and, you know, a rotisseur and then they bring the dishes. It's you oversee these three dishes, you oversee the three fish ones, you, and from wow. ordering, prepping, cooking, cleaning down, all of that. For me, I think it's, it's team driven, not just chef driven. My, my deal, I think, is stepping back, and you might know this like with the TV world, right? If you're a cook, you're worried about that dish. You're a chef, you do the menu. When you start owning something, mm -hmm. it's the lighting, and I don't like this, and why is that silverware out of place, and we need right. that, and I, Music like the be louder, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, and the yeah. food part is, yeah. is super important, but I want my team to be able to contribute and feel like they're doing it. So if I open a new restaurant, any of those people can go and be the chef of it. That's the thing is you do, in one, in one part, put your ego aside with the food, but yep. you're also doubling down on it with everything else. So if someone doesn't like the lighting, it's my problem. Yeah. If someone doesn't like the uniform, it's me yeah. that they're, that they're going to call out. The t-shirt so, in this case. So the yeah. idea with that was no hierarchy. There was no positions and titles. Right. Bussers, dishwashers, chef, you know, uh, bar everyone wore jeans, Chuck Taylors, yeah. and a t-shirt. Like it was one glass, yeah. one plate from Ikea, a fork and knife. Didn't matter what drink you ordered yep. or wine yep. or anything. Cooking's amazing, right? I still love it. It's what I do. But doing TV is so fun. Doing demos, talking to yeah. people, going to events. To, like that's amazing because at the end of the day, and this is something that I learned, you know, with Gordon, you can cook for 100 people in your, in your restaurant, talk to them please them, make them happy, or you can do it in front of five million people on network television mm -hmm. and do the same thing and try to teach or inspire and whatever yeah. and communicate your vision. And it's, it's super rewarding.